This is a common case scenario. You're sitting in your OPD on a fine day and parents bring their child to you telling that the child is not able to move legs and not able to walk since yesterday. So there is acute onset bilateral lower limb weakness. This is a case of acute paraplegia or paraparesis. How to proceed in such a case scenario? The first thing that you need to do is a detailed history and a detailed clinical examination and to see whether there is evidence of spinal cord uh, compression or uh, sensory level that is present. If spinal cord compression is present, then you have to do a CEMR immediately and then check whether it is a compressive neuropathy or a non-compressive neuropathy. If it is a compressive lesion, then you have to get a neurosurgical consultation done. If it is non-compressive and there is a, a definite sensory level present, then you have to think of transverse mellitus and start on steroids. If the uh, spinal cord lesion is not evident, then you have to check for deep tendon reflexes. If tendon reflexes are present, then you have to check for ocular as well as bulbar involvement. If there is both ocular and bulbar involvement, think of myasthenia and botulism. If there is no involvement, think of hypokalemic periodic paralysis. If the DTS are absent, then you have to think of whether the paralysis is symmetric paralysis or asymmetric paralysis. If it is asymmetric, think of polio and traumatic neuritis. If it is symmetric, think of Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is very common, and uh, you have to start IVIG immediately. 